Great, I can now receive guests. There we go. Well, that took a little bit. Hello, honey. What up, T? Hey, hey. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Uh, uh yep. It's an inch of snow on the ground and it's 25 degrees outside. Don't hate the play. Oosh. Hate the game. And yeah, you enjoyed that shit. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Hell oh, no. man. Hell to the no, no. Hey, poetic. Hey, how are you? Hey, poet. Okay. Hey, baby, how are you? <laughs> Enjoy um, what If I'm a little bit loud. I, I was, sorry, I was uh, sharing uh, the thing. What? I'm, I'm enjoying what? my first blizzard of the season. Oh, hell. Y'all can, y'all can hate all you want to. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah I we was will. perfectly happy moving from Jersey. Last year I lived there, winter I lived there before I transfer uh -huh, here with that. the post office we had 15 inches of snow i was like yeah, yeah. no i'm and good se and secretly you regret it now because you don't get to go out and make snow angels you know what no actually snow. the on the only the only thing i'm i truly miss about i mean i miss a lot several things about jersey but the one thing i truly miss is that it's illegal to pump your own gas so in weather like that it's nice yeah okay Not Oh, not have to pump your right own gas when it's storming. You get charge between the nozzle and the gas tank, and it blows your car up while you're inside it. Ha! Bam! You missed the snow. No. You missed the snow. <laughs> I missed the snow. No. Look, I don't, I don't miss not having snow. electricity for almost two weeks because oh, Abbott don't know snow. how to... Abbott don't know we how to get you. the grid going. Nope. We Thank you. Snow. Thank you. We got the snow. Y'all missing out. Well, Texas might get some anyway. Then your power grid gonna fail then. What you gonna do? The... <laughs> um, Damn! I mean, shit, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Look, uh, I'll sit around and and something warmer than a t-shirt and a tank top. <laughs> you better use, them, you better use them, you better use them backwards elliptical feet to snow walk yourself to somebody's house with a guy. Look, I look, I delivered mail in that crap for eighteen years. Oh, uh, I'm no, okay. Damn, I can handle it. With you. Okay, I know. Okay, all right, yeah. all right, all right. I can handle it. I got it. I so, <laughs> so. People, people, people. Nice girl. Our buddy is doing a live right now, and I was gonna send him an invite, but fuck him. Uh, Who, Rudy Kaluti? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna send him an invite, but you know what? Nah. And I was gonna go into his live, sending, but I said, you know what? I got things to do over here. I got yeah. things to do over here. You got important shit to do. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah, even, we need to do some talking. I wouldn't even worry about him no more. He he's gonna be no matter what anybody says to him, me, you, his, his wife, it it ain't gonna matter. He gonna just be lost in the sauce. Yeah. See, boy. And you you know what pisses me off? Here's here's the thing that got me. He made that video where he made fun of somebody having a heart attack. The what? And said that was God smiting that dude down because uh, he went against Israel. Listen. Well, what's your excuse for the three Israeli host hostages that got smited down by Israel themselves? What, where, where is yeah. the same energy? Oh, yeah. Dumbass. He's just a dis. He, he reminds me of one of those people, what, what my grandma used to call him, uh, dumbass. Men, men that act like the hen pecked. He's probably hen pecked. No, he don't, he don't even act like that. He act like a fake Christian. No, that's, that's it. Too. Straight but up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A lot of things he does. He just. I like ain't saying nothing about his wife. Don't like say nothing about text. his wife. I ain't saying. Don't say nothing about her. Else. It's about him. All I said was no. No matter what any of us. I ain't say you. Him. I'm talking to poetic. No. no she, yeah. No. He just. It, it, he's, it just, he's a damn fool. 
It, it just okay. Just that's what we go with. That's he, what we go he's with. He just lost. He just lost in the sauce, and that's what he's gonna be. Yep. All he cares about is his numbers. Share the screen. Share the <laughs> share the live. Y'all tap that. Send me screen. gifts. Send me gifts. Yes. yes. I'm, I'm like, oh my god. And then let's people. Anywho, anywho, we about it. have another level of conversation that we're gonna move on to. We're going to talk about this. Yeah, oh, yes. We're going to talk about our four-star general over there telling him, you got to wind this shit up. Yeah. yeah Lloyd, Lloyd Austin. I think Lloyd Austin is supposed to be over there mm -hmm. right, right up until Christmas Day. Oh, really? Yeah, I know he's I know he's over maybe, there. Maybe he is. You, but I don't yeah. care how long he's over there. You, you're right. He, <laughs> you got you got to wrap this shit up. Wrap like like that, uh, that box from the Dave Chappelle show. Wrap it up, B. Yeah, shit or get off the pot because mm -hmm. I mean, because and we're a lot done of with other, this shit. These other countries too are like, we tired of this. You you need to, you know. And I sent you a video too, but see, he he's he's like about uh you know uh Netanyahu and stuff like that. He's he's just he 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 had no you know his his plans were to just keep going, and now he's seeing that he's these people that were backing him are like backing away now and Hamas is saying look we're willing to sit down and have some talks with you but we ain't we ain't releasing shit until, we know you, how until, you, until, you, until you stop until you stop uh bombing us you, we ain't releasing a damn person yeah, because they, also the world sees they release two and they just go over to the east bank and collect five yeah and well not, not only that they're um you know, if, if I don't, I'm, I'm so flummoxed right now, if, if Anthony Blinken has told him, look, you got to hurry this along. This is this is getting ridiculous. Too many civilians have lost their lives. If Joe Biden is telling you you're losing international support, it's only going to be a matter of time before the EU completely turns their backs on Israel. Yep. It's, and and they're gonna they're gonna let Israel just get run up in, okay? Mm -hmm. By Hezbollah, Hamas, Lebanon, uh, Tikrit. E everybody's gonna come in there and take a natural piece of their ass, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. if Joe Biden is telling you you're losing international support, that means Joe Biden is a fart away from denouncing his support for you. No more money. No more weapons. None of this. I'll veto any bill that comes to my desk with money for Israel on it. Any of it. Yeah. And that's where that's where he's getting to right now because this shit it needs to end. And mm -hmm. when the, when the number one superpower in the world is telling you to wrap it up, B, you better be wrapping it up, baby. Yeah. And then and then once it is wrapped up, then he can sit down and answer for all his war crimes. Cause I'm not buying this, buying off on this bullshit about you being anti-Semitic if you question BB. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The exactly. Vatican, the the Vatican is pissed off at him. They bombed a a convent. There is a Christian convent in Gaza. Mm -hmm. And well, you fucking bombed it. And, and it's not like, T, that uh, that convent was disguised as uh, a Piggly Wiggly. It's not like that right. convent yeah. was disguised as a car sales, car salesman deal dealership mm -hmm. or anything no. like that. Yeah. You know, it, exactly. was, it was a convent. It was clearly marked on the maps. It was a convent. It yeah. It was a convent, and you, sh you shot a bomb through it. And again, this is, could be one of those dummy bombs. We don't know, but it mm -hmm. doesn't matter. As we've been saying for weeks now, too many civilians have lost their lives. And the last time I checked, nuns were civilians. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. And now they're showing the IDF walking through these ton these huge ass tunnels. They're talking about they spent millions of dollars and you know, Hamas spent millions of dollars in building them and, you know, and all this. And they are, they can drive big enough, they can drive their, their car, you know, their vehicles through them and stuff like that. And it took them years to, it's like, I I know you, you know, I, I can't, 
I can't not not believe that um, that Israel's not spying on them. So it took them years to build this, and you didn't see anything. You know, you didn't wonder where all this dirt was coming from or anything. I mean, that's just I'm not. And then plus, we already know where the money was coming from. Now, yeah, from 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 Israel and from Netanyahu paying them all of these millions of freaking dollars. Yeah, and unfortunately, it's probably money that we've sent that they're just passing over. Then I'm wondering. Yeah, I'm wondering if anybody over there, you know, when they came to all this dirt, they were moving to build these tunnels. Did anybody wonder why they all of a sudden had all this beachfront property on the mm -hmm. Mediterranean? Or did anybody look around and go, hey, I don't know if y'all noticed, but Israel has been elevated four inches. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Gaza suddenly, suddenly higher than it was before. Yeah. Where'd all that, that dirt come from? This looks like the mountain. There wasn't a valley there before. This, this but now like, there's this like a valley. This is starting to look like the mountain that Gandalf took care of the Balrog on. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's what I was I got saying. Somebody, like I got somebody who wants to. The ground. I like, have what? someone who wants to ask a question. Oh. I don't know her. Junzi, she's cool. Oh, okay. Hey, Junzi. Hey, T. You're a sweetie. I watch you all the time. And uh, it's swerving. Hi, Junzi. Hey, um, had a question for you. Now I've been listening, and uh, and I never even do any kind of uh, Israel pro Gaza. I know it's a hot mess, and, mm -hmm. and, and I'm an old gal, and I'm mm -hmm. and I'm actually I'm 71. I'm a retired history tech teacher, and. Uh, mm -hmm. And I've been watching this since I've been a kid. And Swervin is somebody that I go to because of he's military, he's Navy, like all my, my, my brother, my father, my uncles, the whole crew. But mm -hmm. here's my question, Swerve. Do you think, and I was watching this pre-October 7th, during the summer when Netanyahu was trying to overturn the 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 Kabasi or the K whatever their Supreme Court equivalent begins with mm -hmm. a K, whatever. And he's he's a he's a weaselly MF, I swear to God. I thought when this happened in October, I said that son of a bitch is wave wagging the dog. Now Everybody said, oh, you're crazy. Everybody's been calling me crazy since I called Trump out in 2016 that he's he wants to be a dictator. And and I'm mm -hmm. from New Jersey. I'm I'm from Jersey. I, I, hear you. I know this. I know Trump. Mm -hmm. My question for Swerve back on on the on the gig here is the fact that we found out that that Israel, it, the Israeli knew that there was shit happening in Stern, in Egypt, Egyptian uh, intel. Da, 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 da. He, he knew this was going to happen. And I yes. think he's pulling this shit and he doesn't give a shit about his own people. And he absolutely doesn't give a shit about palestinians we all know that so mm -hmm. oh, i just that's my question i'm 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 serving to swerving well the fact that he found out i mean and of course we always find these things out after the fact um we found out after the fact that he had a pamphlet in hand him and his war cabinet they had a pamphlet in hand um, but they all didn't, nobody believed that Hamas would be able to pull it off. Now, I don't know if the war cabinet knew, but I know one of his defense ministers knew that he was sending money to Hamas. So that person didn't say anything. Um, then 
the Egyptian intelligence agency and the United States intelligence agencies, we contacted them uh, a few days before it happened and said, hey, something is about to happen. And of course, this is something that we found out after the fact. However, on the day of, as we're watching this unfold, we were watching this unfold on TV. Um, and then, you know, six, seven hours later, here comes the IDF Defense Force. They were in no defensive posture whatsoever. They they had taken no, no kind of active guardrails to prevent this from happening. So I started getting, I started having my suspicions then. And I was like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was sitting here like, okay, somebody either wanted this shit to happen or that is the slowest response time in military history ever. And that's where, that's where my feet landed that day. And turns out it was the latter of, it was the first one, the somebody wanted it to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, then I am not wrong. I, my family, my family needs to apologize to me. That's my own private shit, but no, I don't think you're wrong at all. You can't I smell the you rat can't from the 10 get. years. You can't spend 10 years sending money to the very terrorist group who attacked your country. Um, he basically funded his country's own terrorist attack. Um, and then was even slower to respond to it. The only thing that responded like it was supposed to was the Iron Dome. But once it ran out of uh, ammunition, well, that was it. It was it was done and it takes an hour to an hour and a half to reload it. Um, so all they did, they just kept firing rockets into Israel. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Hey, T, man, this is uh, I mean, T, young lady, this is why I I'm so happy that you let me come up and talk to Swerve because he he is kind of an expert in that field of you know military strat strategy and that kind of thing so oh uh, yeah i i wasn't wrong yeah i <sighs> nope so, you're not wrong <laughs> you're not wrong at all all right you're so not wrong at all i'll step down but i love you i love you all all four let me see pe 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 poetic <laughs> swerving and see i love you i watch it i'm always there but I'm going to let you, thank I'm going to step down and let somebody else jump in. But well, thanks. good to see you. That's okay. I love You're welcome you anytime. Take care, <laughs> Take care, Something else that we have to pay strict attention to. Um, while all of this is going, our media is so far freaking behind. It's ridiculous. <sighs> I haven't heard a darn thing about the bombing of the um, maternity ward. I, and you know what? I found that looking up that on uh, on uh, Al Jazeera and uh, Israeli Israeli Times. Well, you got to understand something also, and just just keep in mind, even with Al Jazeera, it's hard for Al Jazeera to get anything out. Their broadcast tower has been knocked down. Um, yeah, right. Oh, but true, we, true. We, remember, it's hard for any kind of news to come out of the Gaza Strip or the West Bank because we don't have a lot of reporters there. And some of the reporters that are there, um, I mean, look, let's be honest, they're in fear of their life every second of the day because they never know where they're going to be blown up with a bomb. So I understand if some of them don't want to go there. So news may be a little slow coming out of there. Yeah, because right. what, 95, what was I reading today? 95, uh, uh, 95 uh media you know journalists media people have been uh unalived yeah mm -hmm. yeah now now what when i told y'all about this about the women dying in the convent i heard that from there's a guy called Bo of the fifth column over uh -huh. on youtube mm -hmm. he's on and about about three hours before i mentioned that he had it. He said, I haven't had clarification yet, but supposedly there are three incidents that are really burning down support for Israel. He said, and he said, one of them is something about a, about a church, a Catholic church. He said, but I don't have any other details. 
That's why I brought it up and y'all, we all said we're going to look into it because we hadn't heard anything. It wasn't until this morning when I saw this posted mm-hmm. about the the women, the, the Christian women. Yeah, well, they were they were hiding out in a safe, in a safe space in that, that church and they were hit by snipers and IDF was like, no, we didn't do it. They was quick to, no, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. Yeah, then come to find out, yep, they did. Yeah, and and the the church is uh Saint Saint Por- Porphyrus Greek yeah. Orthodox Church campus in Gaza City, and you're mm-hmm. right, it was it was some months ago that it actually happened. Um, it was <laughs> no, no, this happened this weekend. Well, the one for this weekend. Well, hold on, hold on, let me. You gotta let me finish. My okay. Can Sorry, I can I finish? Come on, Shelly. No, I'm good. <laughs> no, the um the one that happened this weekend, um, it looks like um uh, it looks like these it's more than just these two these two women who've been on a live. There there may be as many as thirty more people on a live because it was a shelter and people were oh. sheltering in there. Yeah, yeah, they were sheltering in place, yeah. So we won't have the final number for a few more days. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, was that what they're speaking of? That's a, a woman and it was a woman and a daughter. Her daughter, uh, those two women. And, the, the, and, yeah. and the people that were there that were still alive were describing that. I mean, they were saying themselves that that's who it was. Okay, they see who you are. You know, so yeah, they're going to say who you are. You well, know what I mean? You who they are, you better fucking believe them. Yeah. It's like while Israel's going, oh no, no, it's not us. It's not it's it's not us. And then people going, yes, it was. And and T, it's like I said earlier, this place was being used as a shelter. Okay. And uh it, it, it's it's not like on the Google Maps, it's a fucking car dealership. Yeah. It's not a Cinnabon. Yeah. It's a McDonald's. It's a convent. And it was a shelter, and they hid it anyway. They hid it anyway. So where's all these phony pro-life Christian bastards at? Well, right. oh, I got a better one for you. This one happened today. This is a hospital. Remember how they said they're not hitting hospitals? They hit a fucking maternity ward. And you know yes. damn well I can't. God damn it! Let me get my glasses. And uh, dude, they were they were I talking know, about. No, I'm gonna just come to come with my glasses. Leave it alone. Leave they it alone. were talking Leave about it. how uh, how uh, BB uses these these trigger words like have been using them for years. Like he he don't use you know he tries to use war not gen, you know words like war not genocide not using words what it is like genocide. He he's you know he makes them look like the bad guy. You know he's basically doing some 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 Trump shit over there. And so it, yeah. it, it it causes us, you know, as people over on this side of the world to be, they said, and it explains a lot, to be less empathetic towards the Palestinians because we're being fed what he says. And the trigger and the lack of importance that he used, the words that he uses, he's like, he's basically, you know, use, use, using fat, fascist type type words. Here, let me let me let me let me add that in. This is the last time I'm gonna speak about our friend who shall not be spoken of. Over okay. on his live, he kept saying over and over again, "This is war." You know, things happen in war. Things happen, and I'm like, if any of our soldiers did this shit, they would be court-martialed. No yeah. question about it. In the United Forget States, the fact that it's a war. Let's be real. After 9-11, the United States went and attacked two countries that had nothing to do with it. Okay, and, and we we took the lives of over one million Iraqis and Afghanistanian people. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this is why Joe Biden is is telling Bibi, you know, it's why I told him at the beginning, don't let your uh rage, don't let your rage consume you. Yeah. Okay. Don't let's don't let your rage consume you. And this is why he's telling them now, because the United States had been losing uh, international support for what was going on in Afghanistan for the past seven or eight years. 
Yeah, because we went to war based on a lie. And this is another war based on a lie. Yeah. And they and repeatedly the targeted had, hospitals and healthcare facilities for 48 hours. An Israeli tank shell shell hit the maternity building, sorry, on Sunday. Mm hmm. Yeah. And this is this is what we're saying. Like, and, and here's the thing, T, if that's a tank shell, that's not a misfiring of a missile. A tank no. is a precision weapon. Right. They go. So they and saw even, that hospital and was like, so what side of the hospital do you think we're going to hit? <laughs> yeah, let's hit all the babies we can. I don't know, man. You think it's the you think it's the maternity ward? No, nah, yeah. I'm moving for ICU. And they fired. Mm -hmm. Well, just like the, the two women that they, they unalived. They're like, you know, the IDF was trying to say, well, we know better than the than, than the sniper civilians. Well, you didn't know better than the sniper this to three civilians that were waving white flags and had no shirts on. Mm -hmm. They were your people. You didn't know better than to do that. Yeah, and like I said, you know, Joe Biden is telling him, look, you're losing international support, and guess what? I'm part of the international, so you're about to lose my fucking support. Yeah. Don't don't let your what you know. When I used to get in trouble, like my 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 grandmother told me one time, yeah. don't let your alligator mouth override your hummingbird ass. Now look at look at Pope Francis. <laughs> Just turned eighty seven. May may the Lord bless him. In nomine Padres et Filii et Spiritus Santis. And <laughs> this man this man took time to wake himself up. Somebody told him what happened, and he said immediately, "Condemn it." and probably went right back to sleep. He's what, 87 years old now? I think he is. On his way to being one of the oldest pontiffs we've we've ever had in my lifetime. And he still took time to chime in on what's going on between Israel and the Gaza Strip. Because yeah. it's, not the, it's not the West Bank that's getting relentlessly bombed. It's the Gaza Strip. And I don't know how much more of it you can bomb Without just saying, okay, we're done. It's a parking lot. Yeah. Where, oh, oh where, no, 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 no. We, we, where we have to remember. To go to. We have to remember up on the uh, up on the West Bank, it's the settlers who unalive Palestinians, and the police say, "Would you like to go get a cup of coffee now?" No, I I get that. What I'm saying is, the West Bank is supposedly, according to Bibi Netanyahu and all his ministers. It's supposed to be just as dangerous. They, they, you know, there's like a 90 million mile tunnel network under the West Bank that we got to go in here and clear out. None of that shit is true. Yeah, None of that shit is true. And I'd be so glad. And this won't this won't happen for years. But I'd be so glad when Bibi Netanyahu is hauled either in front of the criminal court of the world or he's in and hauled in front of the court him and along with the rest of his his freaking sycophants to say, here's mm -hmm. what happened. You need to answer to this. Mm -hmm. And then line him up. No, oh, and by the way, let me throw this out there. One of the members of his administration is involved with the uh, war going on in the Congo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's putting a little funding into that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I don't know yes. the the whole the whole you know what I can't even I don't even want to talk about Israel and Gaza anymore because it just it just pisses me off. You know what on a on a on a different note I did see something where uh uh his popeness was uh blessing the L, giving blessings to the LGBTQ community. Well yeah this pontiff uh -huh. has always done that. Yeah, I was I was saying the story. I was like, "Oh, this I was like, "Oh, this 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 royal popeness He's even washed the oh. feet of a trans person before. He's even mm -hmm. what? He's even washed the feet of a trans person before. Oh, so he's yep. he's, do, he's doing what what should you know? Granted, they still got a lot of stuff going on in in the churches and stuff like that, but but yeah, yeah. Oh, well, well, let's throw this out there. Record oil production is pushing the prices down of gas. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> You Trump need to did that. Race. You need to do your research. Donald Trump's still president. Hello. Wait a 
wait a minute. Have you about? seen it? Drill, baby, drill. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hang on. Hang on. Let's flip over to um, Trumpy Dum. Let, let's, yeah, let, let's flip, flip over now, folks, to Trumpy Dum. Damn, I ain't even got, I ain't even got a picture. I wanted to have something funny to put up there. Damn it. So the way, the way this oil thing has been going. Um, this so did. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I, I posted a video uh, <laughs> two years back. Jesus. I said, you know what, y'all? I figured out who Donald Trump's mortal enemy is. It's not the what? Democratic Party. It's not the leftist. It's himself. It's not liberals. It's the wind. Yeah, that just makes me never want to eat chicken again. <laughs> Wait, but I, I didn't bring up, I didn't take a picture of, um, he held a rally. This man has some serious old Yahtzee blood in him mm -hmm. that he's standing there talking about these, these, uh, these, these immigrants are polluting the blood of mm -hmm. america i'm like mm -hmm. excuse me well hell he has my you mean you mean you're a pure stand. blood are you trying to call yourself a pure blood well no he can't call himself a pure blood remember he got vaccinated <laughs> that's true but look i'm gonna I'm tell, tell you like this t when it, when he said that i thought to myself you disgusting slime bag piece of garbage because it is well documented how your own great grandfather came to this country set up shop in the Klondike you know the Klondike where they had the gold rush of it mm -hmm. yeah. set up shop in the Klondike with all kinds of whorehouses yeah yeah well, the thing of it is, too, back in the day when people came over in Ellis Island, all they had to do was sign a book. They, they didn't have to. They didn't have to go through the court system and all that. They came. They got dropped off on the boat, and they signed a book. Yeah, that's yep. how. The, and the, then the, Le Leon got his start. And the next step, the only little change they made for a number of years was you signed the book, and you had to say you had some kind of gainful employment. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And all that took was for one of your relatives to show up and say, I got him a job and I got somewhere for him to stay. He won't be sleeping on the streets. And there you went. Yep, that was it. So for, for him to say that um, the blood of immigrants is poisoning the blood of America. Yeah, quarantine. I just thought to, I just thought to myself, you know, without these immigrants, your hotels wouldn't have the buffets that they have. Nope. Okay, without these immigrants, your hotels probably wouldn't get the cleaning services nope. that you wanted them to have. Nope. And here's a thought. Maybe if people of your own race, the, you know, the master races they used to like to call themselves, maybe, maybe if y'all treated them better, they wouldn't be out there looking for immigrants or Latinos or black men. Yeah, this man to hang out with. Cause see, you, it, need treat, you need to treat your women like exactly what they are—a piece of precious gold with a diamond set right in the middle. Oh no, 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 no! You know they're just brood mares. Well, according to them, that's all their women are. See, and it's—I mean—and just being from Jersey, it's well known that you know he hired undocumented workers to work in his casinos, his hotels, and everything, and then when they would you know, you know, try to discuss getting a raise or anything like that. He either fire them, threaten them with firing them or threaten them with calling ice or actually calling ice and getting them deported. And yes. And y'all got to remember when Trump was first hired in 2016, remember all of the people that were working down there at Mar-a-Lago illegally and what did they say well hr missed it i we don't know how they yeah they've been working here for eight nine ten years illegally but we didn't know oh dhs dhs and ice they went through all of his properties in the country even his personal uh mansion up in upstate new york they went through mm -hmm. everything and they found some like 13 or 1400 illegal uh 
I don't want to say illegal. That's the wrong word. I'm sorry. Undocumented, undocumented migrants working. Un undocumented country. workers. Yeah. And look, here's what I've always said. And I've been saying this for years. Two thirds of Donald Trump's wives were immigrants, proving yep. once again that immigrants will do the job that no Americans want to do. Yep. Yep. True. He he True. Get the job done with Stormy Daniels unless he paid her $170,000. Hell, even that wouldn't have been enough. Shit. And wait a minute. And um, Melania apparently spoke at Ellis Island, um, some kind of ceremony. And she said, it is, it is just, it is so hard to become an American. Dude, all, sweetie, all you did was um, go, uh, 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 yes, my great. Turn up my great sweet potato. Hell, and, and she, get yourself and legally she's here. And, and her and Baron are dual citizens. They're not she, even. She was laying there on a. She was laying there on her back, going, "Oh, oh, mango Mussolini." Oh, you know what? Chances right. are, Baron is a. Uh, chances are, Baron is a. Uh, is a uh, turkey baster baby. And her and her parents came over here on chain migration mm -hmm. thank you and then donald trump <laughs> said up oh, no more of that shit we got them in here that's over yeah that's it that's it they like they, they, are the, they have the put they have the complexion of protection so oh, i'll yeah. let them in mm -hmm. and see and also too like i said baron and her are both are both uh are both uh they got dual citizenship, so all they gotta do is hop on a flight yeah. and they can go back oh they can go back over to where she came from and there ain't there ain't a damn thing he can do. Remember, she has citizenship because she she married his goofy behind. Right. But Baron has citizenship because he was born here. No, but he has citizenship where she no. came from. I know and so oh, yeah. she, I know you gotta you gotta let me finish these things. Oh, I'm sorry. You gotta let me land my planes. Okay, sorry. He has, he has citizenship because he was born here so melania mm -hmm. said you know what i bet it would be easier to get a passport back to my original country before he returns my ass on amazon and so instead of donald trump having to push add to cart proceed to checkout return to sender then she just said, fuck it. I got my passport in 10 days. We're, we're out. And her and Baron took off. Yep. <laughs> and she has done everything she can do to keep Baron away from this garbage. He's the only innocent Trump out there. Well, him, it, uh, uh, what's her name? Mary? Tiffany. Tiffany. Well, who's, who's his, uh, who's the one that wrote the book? The one that Mary Trump? Yeah. Mary. Oh, yeah, that's his niece. niece. Yeah, his niece. Yeah. And the, and also too they say Trump don't really do have too much to do with Baron too because he's taller than him and he don't like to stand next to him because it makes him look shorter. Because you know Baron is like fucking 10 foot 2. Not really. I still think that ain't his child. That's Pootie's child. No, oh, probably. Yeah, it, it's going to be it's going to be funny once Baron is fully grown and he's not orange and He's a little slimmer than Trump, you know, because six foot two at 215 pounds, ain't nobody going to be better than T-Rump. So, was yeah, it on shit? Was it on this live? No, it was that's on Barry. That's why he puts Eric next to him anytime Eric has to be at a function. And Eric's dumbass is sitting there going, thanks, Dad. I love when you put me next to you. <laughs> what was it? I was I think it, it might have been Barry's live, but... um. Some she's uh she's she's on here. She does makeup uh for I can't think of what because I follow her and stuff, but I can't think of what she is anyway. She does makeup for for high dollar people and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. uh, they were saying allegedly he's having a hard time getting because of not paying people to do put mm -hmm. on his orange makeup. He's having to do he's having to do his own spray tans. That's mm -hmm. why they've been not blended in, and that's why it looks almost like he sticks his face into a powder bowl of, of orange. And, you know, that's why, you know, around it's not blended in around his hairline is his hairlines and, you know, 
around his ears and neck and stuff like that because he he's having a hard time finding anybody to do his uh his makeup for him because you know of you know of what how... not not going to lose no sleep over it good I know I just thought it was I just found it was funny it it is, it is. It yeah is. Baron is bilingual and he they say he hates it because him him and him and his mom will talk to each other and he has no idea what they're saying yeah cuz he's too stupid he never learned anything with this fake diploma he, yeah, he barely speaks mm -hmm. English. Uh, uh, let me see. I I don't have much tonight, and I did not want to bring up this article about um, stillbirths. I'll let you guys take that one. All right, all right, all right. Um, well, basically, it is an article. It explains that there are over 24,000 stillbirths a year mm -hmm. in this country so when, the, when people run around you know trying to say what they say about abortion they don't understand if it's a stillbirth and you have to get a c-section it's an abortion if you have a stillbirth and they have to go in and get it it's an abortion mm -hmm. and there are two million in the world so mm -hmm. the holier than now apparently the bible is not bibling which version yeah which version indeed he only speaks grade school english yeah that's trump all right that's that trumpy poo that is trumpy poo 100 percent um but yeah and it listed the different types it's it's it amazes me how men sorry sorry swerving have this idea that oh well it's just you know, it's cool. And everything goes hunky dory. It doesn't. Women have stillbirths all the time. It's just their body saying, nope, mm -mm, don't identify that's something we got to save. I mean, they Tina, they don't they Tina, don't understand. Real quick, not to not to interrupt. No, you're good. I'm sorry. I want to let you notice uh the Nevada fake electors, they they have all pled not guilty to state charges when their trial is set for March. Go on. Oh. Oh my God! Couldn't you have got their ass in there by January? God damn it! Because they plan on trying to ride on um. Yeah, ride you know what, on though, it's still, it's still early. They can they can still flip. Oh, okay, maybe I somebody mean, that, will. That's the way I look at it. They could still they could still flip. Okay, yeah, you're right. They could possibly. It approximately twenty one thousand babies are stillborn in the United States. Million, almost two million worldwide. There's yeah. nothing. It's it, it's like the woman in Warren, Ohio. You're slapping her with felony charges when they did a autopsy on what was there and said there was no way this was a living fetus it, when yeah. it dropped. Mm -hmm. So what felony are you talking about? She called for ambulance. Yeah, and I mean, she it went is. to the doctor a few times, a couple few times, and they kept sending her home. And yeah. and my my per, my personal opinion is that I I feel that because um they're trying to make a make a uh because see you know the white chick they're like oh that's horrible what Texas is doing to her but this lady because she's not a white chick she's she's a black she's a black woman they're trying i feel they're trying to make an example you know out of her and you know g making her go through all the go through all you see what i'm saying go yeah, through all, all this stuff trauma. because it's like they're they're trying to gain garner sympathy for for the white chick no bitch you you got what you asked for you know my my sympathy for you is null and void and not and only here's that the thing. You, your vote your vote potentially cost the lives of other women because of people right. like you whereas yep whereas this this black woman who just panicked you know she this happened she panicked she'd been to the doctor or something she obviously wanted the baby because mm -hmm. she went to the doctor a couple times trying to figure out what was going on and because it's been proven that you know black black women do have more uh more prenatal and you know postnatal issues than you know white women do because of the medical care that 
you know, that they lack of or that lack they're of not getting. Care, yeah. That that they're getting. Yeah, so no. I mean, you know, and I, I feel and I understand men simply don't understand childbearing. I I don't think it's that they don't understand. They choose not to. Because you know what? Well, some with, with not, some, some choose not some to. Some choose not to. But because you know, with the man, they get the sniffles, and all of a sudden they they think you know all hell is breaking loose. And like I said, God forbid they they squeeze something the size of a watermelon out of the size of a something that's a grape, <laughs> and think they're gonna survive, think they're gonna live to tell about it. Not let alone. I mean, hell, do you know? Can you? Uh, okay, a woman carries a baby for nine, almost ten months. You know, I carried. You know, I carried a baby. But like I said, her birthday's today. Happy birthday, my my. She, you know, she was nine pounds three and you know nine pounds three ounces, twenty three and a half inches long. Like I said yesterday, I gave birth to a small to a small child. Small child. But, <laughs> but can you could you imagine a, a a man having to carry around a baby like that? Or, I mean, hell, exactly. if you put a bra and a pair of underwear with a pad on and make him walk around with it for a day or two, he he he'd have a gut. He'd have a gut damn coronary. Okay, exactly. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Women have been known to miscarry or have a stillbirth <laughs> up to forty weeks. Forty oh, yeah. weeks. Mm -hmm. That's I, I damn near ready to be born. And mm -hmm. something goes wrong, the the lungs just don't develop, or well, the heart just stops. Well, there's babies that are stillborn while the woman is giving birth because the umbilical cord wraps around their neck. Exactly. And exactly. so, therefore, it's stillborn. And we've got far too many men in office making decisions about somebody else's body when if they have their time of the month they go ew yeah are you 10 years old uh-huh grow a pair that's what i said you know when they was comparing you know complaining about masks and stuff like that i'm like try try uh try wearing you know try wearing a bra for for 15 hours a day with the you know while while you're on your while you're on your cycle with a big old glob of uh, cotton between your legs uh, for every day for a goddamn week and see and see how you can see how you manage. <laughs> then you can Forgive tell me, me about swear, the Forgive me, but come on, come on. How many women in here say yes? When you step in that door, you want to get the hell out of that goddamn bra. Freedom. Oh, I'm taking. I was taking oh. it off on the drive home. Oh, I'm telling you right now. I've always told Dawn if they're flawless, go brawless. Hey. <laughs> Look at all these yeses. They're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, that's why I said I'd be I, some there's times that especially in the summertime when I was carrying mail, I'd be driving home from driving home from the route in the mail truck, mm -hmm. sticking my hand, you know, sticking my hand up because you, you figure out how to take it off without taking your shirt off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shoot. Because God oh, knows God. there were times when I got out the car and got in the house and went, oh, Fuck, I left the bra in the car. Yeah, that's like my my that's like my wife's my wife's mom. She's like, she's like, and she she does wear one, but she's like, I always said when I retire when I retire, she's like, you won't see me in a bra no more. There you go. There you she go. goes, I wear we, she goes, we, I wear like we. a cami that have like a has like a like a bra type thing in it that kind of holds them. She's like, but mm -hmm. she's like, you once I retire and I don't have to, she goes, oh no, no, no. no. the no. store is not gonna see you again. Yeah. I, I what did you say, Swear? I wanted to touch base on one thing before we wrap it up for tonight, and that's the Russian okay. binder. The Russian binder. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. The one that has gone missing. So mm -hmm. I've been here uh, because CNN has published a more detailed report on what mm -hmm. was in it and, you know, and uh, why it was brought there. The binder's origins trace back to 2018 when Republicans on the House Intelligence Committee, led by Devin Nunez, compiled a, compiled a classifier report alleging the Obama administration skewed intelligence in its assessment that Putin had worked to help Trump in the 2016 election. The GOP report, which criticized the intelligence community's tradecraft, scrutinized the highly classified intelligence from 2016 that informed the assessment Putin and Russia sought to assist Trump's campaign. House Republicans cut a deal with the CIA in which the committee 
brought in a safe for its documents that was then placed <laughs> inside a CIA vault, a setup that would prompt some officials to characterize it as a turducken, a safe within a safe. Now, the former president had ordered it brought to the White House so he could then begin declassifying a host of documents related to the FBI's Russian investigation. Under the care of then White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, the binder was scoured by aides working to redact the most sensitive information so it could be declassified and released publicly, okay? So even then they were working to, they were going through the process of redacting classified information. So no, the president doesn't just get to declassify shit with his mind. Um, the day before leaving office- You gotta have a mind. Trump issued an order declassifying most of the binder's contents, setting off a flurry of activity in the final 48 hours of the presidency. Multiple copies of the redacted binder were created <clears throat> inside the White House with plans to, distrib to distribute them across Washington and right-wing pundits. Instead, copies initially sent out were frantically retrieved at the direction of White House lawyers demanding additional redactions. An, un an unredacted version of the binder contained in the classified raw intelligence went missing amid the chaotic final hours of Trump's White House. Now, here's the capper. The question is asked, is the binder part of the criminal case against Trump for mishandling classified documents? The binder was not among the classified items found in last year's search of Trump's Mar Lardo resort, according to a U.S. official familiar with the matter. Uh, who said the FBI was not looking specifically for intelligence related to Russia when it obtained a search warrant for the former president's residence. Mm -hmm. there, also, there is also no reference to the binder or the missing Russian intelligence in the June indictment. However, with this new information, Jack Smith may or may not decide to seek a... <laughs> Oh, excuse me, may or may not decide to seek a formal indictment to include a, or redo of the indictment to include the missing Russian binder. So Jack Smith may actually turn around and do another version of his indictment um, and say, hey, we're going to put this in here because it now it's missing. And this is classic. This is this information was so classified when Donald Trump said, bring it to the White House. The CIA had to bring a vault over to the White House and put it in the skiff. So that and that's where they said turducken a vault inside a vault. See, and since Mark Meadows had a part in it, like you were just reading, I wonder if that's some of the stuff he, he can run tell that. We don't know. We'll see. I'm sure Jack Smith is on the on the Jack Smith might be on the phone with Mark Meadows right now. For all we know, hey, what can you tell me about this Russian and this Russian uh, binder that went missing? And allegedly, the binder was ten inches thick. Uh huh. And uh -huh. it has gone. It has gone missing. That is the raw data, the raw in intelligence that we had collected on on Russia, Prashenko. Uh, Putin, um, who's that? Uh, who's that other fucker? Uh, Prigozhin. But we had no copies of this. We had redacted copies of it. That was it. The original binder is gone. And you know what? I'll and I'll always say, and I know Swervin, I know you don't agree with me, and that's okay. You can you can you can disagree with me, but I'll say, check that damn grave. No, come on. I don't put anything past him. No, come on. That that would just that's just too easy. It's yeah, like, but you know well, what? He's not too bright. But you know what well, though? No, he's look not at how much bright, stuff. But, but Swervin, look at how much stuff he has done in plain sight. That's just that's just too easy. Okay, so Jack Smith goes and get a writ to dig up the dig up that grave. He opens it up and there's nothing in there. Well, this should be a way you could scan it. You can tell human tissue from. Something well, else. 
She was cremated. Oh, shit. She was yeah, cremated. But and you do have ground penetrating radar, which they could hit it with the ground penetrating radar, but a book is not going to show up. A binder's not, metal might show up, but not, nothing else is going to show up. And the, and the coffin is metal. So, no. There, well, is it what, what, coffin. wait a minute. You're saying it was a binder. Most binders have rings to them. Metal rings. Metal might show up, but the problem is the entire coffin is also metal. Fuck. Like I said, I just you know what? To me, it would be it would be worth it would be worth it. No, no. It and no. Okay. All no, right. I would, All right. I wouldn't, right. wouldn't want to desecrate someone's grave only to end up being wrong. There's <laughs> and, and people were like, oh, well, why did why did it take eight men to carry it? It's called a ceremony, you the, jack wagon. It's a ceremony. That's all. Well, my thing of it is desecrate the grave. Did have you have you seen like the grave? They ain't, they don't have maintenance taking care of it. I mean, I, they got. I, I, don't, I don't care. That's not that's not my concern. I mean, my concern. Okay. Is, I, just, I just hope that when I pass away, that my grave is not violated eight ways from Sunday. That's all I care about. Well, well and my thing of it well, is. I don't he, think he, he desecrated. He desecrated that woman the entire time they were married. <laughs> all right, all right, all Big right, people. Brave ain't gonna do nothing. Trust me. All right, people. So we have um, little Donnie two scoops running around. Steal that from Hawk. Little Donnie two scoops running around talking <laughs> about <laughs> talking about pure bloods, pure bloods, and. Doesn't that sound incredibly like during the march in Charlottesville when the white nationalists were talking about Jews shall not replace us? See, and, I, and we me, are I always, pure bloods. I always thought a pure blood was somebody who was inbred. And and T uh, and that's what this is what I this is what I was saying way back <laughs> in the day when everything about COVID was coming out with the uh, vaccines and they were like, I'm not taking that jabby jab. I'm a pure blood. I'm like, you know what? You should really go look up the definition of that word. Because back in the yeah. old days, especially in England, they kept the bloodlines pure by having intercourse and creating children with their own siblings. We saw the same, yeah. we saw the same thing in Game of Thrones with Jamie and Cersei Lannister. They those were pure bloods. Mm -hmm. Okay. They yeah. kept their children pure. And uh, this is what this is what I mean when I say these folks really need to get the flex that they think they're flexing on is not a flex at all. Yeah, and, and then Yahtzees. And then what they'll say Yahtzees is Yahtzees too. Well, the def you know the definition is, of words change. Like when I said said something about liberal, he's like, well, it's not the same definition. I said no. Until the definition actually changes in a in a reputable dictionary, the definition is the same. I said it's just people like you. I said yeah. who who have made up their own definition for it to mean something different. Yes, ma'am. And yep. I said, and definitions don't change. And pure blood still means today as what it meant back in the 16th century. Yeah, that's what I always thought. I thought mm -hmm. pure blood was just that, pure blood, in, inbred, yeah. you know, inbred, like you are your own grandpa. Kind <laughs> of thing. <laughs> I think there was actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think there was actually yeah, a country right song there. that that said that I am my own grandpa, I think, I think, way back in the day. Oh, shit, no. Okay, anywho, we've had our little conversation, our little chit-chat. Oh, people, people, people. And Pay poet, attention. Poet, if they dig up her grave in 50 years when you and I are dead and dust, I'm coming to find you. Maybe 50 years? Let's see, I'll be what? At 50 years i'll be 98 i'm hoping to st I'm, I'm i'm hoping you know i'm like a fly like a picnic i ain't at a picnic yeah, we, i ain't yeah, going we'll be, nowhere we'll, we'll be we'll be gone accept it okay <laughs> okay look it, look it, it's you you and i bitch it's you and i like going out like they're on the weeds y'all 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 go right ahead Y'all go right ahead. See, you're gonna have to put me and me and poet in a room one day and just let us duke it out for a minute. I know, right? Oh, Lord have oh, mercy. Look. <laughs> and be like, and then come come out and be like, I love that motherfucker. I, that, that's my that's my, that's my boy right there. Yeah, miss, I'm gonna miss, say this one. Miss I'm gonna say this one thing. Tooth and shit, but I I I, I don't know if if I ever 
And I know I know we're running a little bit late, but I I, I had to ask T because I never we never got we never really talked about this uh, mm -hmm. a whole lot. What are your thoughts on Rudy Kaludi having to pay one hundred forty eight million dollars? I'd like it if he actually had the money to pay it. We we know he ain't paying shit. That man is broke, busted, and can't be trusted. Honestly, I think before it's all said and done, and I could be wrong, I think he'll uh. Cause he's what in his eighties. I I think he'll I think he'll either unalive himself by drinking himself to that point, or taking pills with a with about six martinis chasing it. Yeah, Bernie Madoff mm -hmm. tried the same thing, so we'll see. I mean, mm -hmm. that's just because I don't think he's got the testicular fortitude to hang it out. Cause he don't he you know he's trying to sell his his I was gonna say his pinto his penthouse now, and it's only like six point five million. You know, he he ain't, he ain't got no money, and you already know. You know his his boy Trump ain't ain't gonna. You know. Well, nope. I was gonna say Trump ain't giving him shit. I was no. gonna say, couldn't Trump have another fundraiser for him? Oh wait, he never gave him the money for the from the last. Exactly. Exactly. There you oh, go. he's gonna be arraigned in LA. Hey, now, I want y'all. Um, I posted a video. It is a recording of Joe Biden was at a campaign headquarters and a drunk driver sideswiped one of the security detail. Yeah. Now, I don't know if y'all had a chance to watch that move that that video back, go back and watch the whole thing. Yeah, I saw but it. that I'm sorry, his security detail is crap. They yeah. like while I the president's looking, they're looking instead of grabbing him and throwing his, his skinny butt in the van. I didn't I didn't see it, but they were talking about it on uh Barrister's Live last night. Somebody was talking about it in the comments. I saw I saw the Go. I saw the video you posted and I'm I'm sitting here looking at it, I'm like, I'm not worried about that. He'll be fine. It it takes a nuclear missile to bust any one of those cars that, that drunk driver could have run into. Joe was he, fine. No. He wasn't in the car <laughs> at the time. I know he wasn't. He was outside the car. I yeah, know. but the I fact the they video. did not act. I saw the whole video. Okay. I saw they, the they whole did, video. Those they did like a, that, they, that they shuffle him around in. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you need a nuclear weapon to put a dent in one of those things. It, it wasn't Ray, Reagan wasn't in the car when he got shot. No, I know he was getting in the car, but there was no there was no noise alerting him to what was about to happen either. They heard these tires screeching. You can hear it in the video. Yeah. And yeah. they saw what was coming and they're just sitting there. Even Joe was sitting there looking at it like this crazy motherfucker. What is he doing? That's what I'm saying. They were not doing their fucking job. Yeah, okay. I mean, but do a five count. Do a five count. You, hey, I've only I've only shot, you know, for recreational purposes. But as military, you go one, two, three, four, five. They ain't got him in the goddamn car yet. Well, no, I, never. Okay, no, no. Okay, okay. Probably I'll send it to you. Give me your opinion. You guys go look it up because just as a civilian, I'm going. Oh, what you call? If I had a child Anita with me said she saw and I heard that noise, that child would be off their fucking feet. Yeah, yeah. But, but Anita, Anita said she saw security come out of nowhere. I understand something. If that, if that supposed drunk driver was trying to push his way to the president's car with an explosive in his, why push him in the car? Why not push him back away from the car? I mean, I, I ain't even talking about an explosive. I, under, I understand what you're saying when they didn't react, but they're not always going to react because they hear tire squealing. They hear it, they hear it every day as much as the president drives around. Maze. That was, never mind. but that was tire squealing and the boom of the car getting hit. Yep. Are they sure it was a DUI though, a, a drunk driver? Man, you can test something out and and do a fake run. That's what pissed me off about it. Who believes it was a DUI? Yeah, I, I ain't even sure about it. I'm willing to go to jail. Let's Thanks, just test on. them out and see how quick they are on their feet. What's that? Anywho, we're going to wrap this up. You Thank you guys for popping in. I appreciate it.
Always a pleasure, young man. Always. Always a pleasure. Love you guys. We had a wonderful conversation. Yes, night, yes. fam. We did. So I'ma just I'ma just go ahead and drop. Good night, poet. Good night, night. Fam. Good night. Love you. Love we'll you. do it again Wednesday. Thank you to the moderators who are looking out for us. And uh I will see you all again on Wednesday. Good night. There we go. Poet. Night night. night. <laughs> Woo, Lordy. Y'all. Thank you so much for coming up. We appreciate having conversations. I love my moderators. I love my co-hosts. They are wonderful. Thank you guys so much. Y'all have a good night. You can find me over on YouTube, Tea Time with Tea. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>